All right, so I, I had the planner. I opened it up and I look at the back of it and it's like, okay, you need 21 credit hours to graduate. And I didn't say what they, how they were, but it just said you need 21. And I had 20.5 or something like that. So I went to the counselor and I was like, hey, I have 20.5. Could I go to summer school and graduate? And she was like, no, absolutely not. And I was like, but it says right here. And then, of course, my parents backed me up on that. So I was able to like kind of... Nobody would think to do that. I don't. Not very many people... I, I don't think would think to figure out how to do that, but I don't like when people tell me what to do, so <laughs> I just figured out a way to do it the way I wanted to do it. And that's kind of how I lived a lot of my early childhood and in life in general, I guess. Um, and I think you have to have a little bit of that in order to navigate your way around these parts in LA and Hollywood. It's a tough game otherwise. How so? You get beat around, you know, you know, beat up and shoved aside and you know, people tell you no all the time. And I found no one was ever going to give me the opportunity. I had to take it. So one of the first movies I ever did out in L.A. of my own, um, I got a bunch of my friends together who were still in college. I graduated a year early because I was ahead of a lot of them because of the high school thing. And uh, they, they had that summer. And I knew what my summer was like, right, after you graduated sort of like what do I do now there's not a whole lot of commitments you have a lot of time most people don't have a full-time job yet but sooner or later they're all gonna get that or they're gonna go off and start living their adult lives well I saw a key opportunity to to get a lot of my old ma movie making friends back together and take that short period of time that none of us would ever get back again and try to do something with it something that we would all be able to benefit from. And that would be, that was making a feature film. It's my first film that nobody knows about. It's called Finger Man, Dr. London and the Triangle Force. That's actually my first feature film. Um, although Compound is being sort of presented as my first, my directorial debut, Finger Man was actually my first feature film. And it was a, a major collaborative effort with a lot of my good friends from back in the day. Chris Cowan, Dan Davidson, um, Steve Woolery, Steve Murray, Fonzel Carter, Noah Applebaum, James Flynn. Like, these are my really good friends from back in the day that we all came up making movies together. Everybody's off doing their own thing now, for the most part, and they're all successful in their own right. But we all got together for that one little piece of time and we were able to make that. And I think you have to also recognize that sometimes there are going to be moments where you don't ever get that opportunity back. Like... I'm so glad I did that movie because I would never have a lot of the things that I have today because of that movie. Um, and actually, one of your questions was going to be about the American that, or the Finger Man on the Lot thing. That legitimized me in a lot of people's eyes and got me a lot of uh, jobs and got me in a lot of doors that I probably wouldn't have been able to get into otherwise. Even though it wasn't even like a big deal, really. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll talk about that later. But, but yeah, Finger Man was a. Uh, huge learning experience and I still I watch it today I'm still happy with that film I think it was like one of the most fun times of my life it was a good time Where but it also was one of the most educational 